Hi, Mike Burke here with Sunstoppers Professional Glass Tinting. Just give you a little tips on some window tinting, kind of inform our customers on how the process of window tinting uh, begins. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm spraying soapy water, which is baby shampoo and water, onto the glass. What we do is we take a film, which is a polyester film. Uh, it comes out of the box like this, has a clear liner similar to wallpaper. What we do is we size it up on the outside of the glass. We take a uh, stainless steel blade and uh, it's a film made by SunTech Films. It's actually called Carbon. Uh, it's a legal film. Uh, it meters out about 32%, which is the legal limit here in North Carolina. Uh, what we do here is we're actually making a template. Uh, we cut the pattern on the outside of the glass. We take our little knife down here and what we do is we run it in the channel to kind of get a nice straight edge groove. Okay. I'm going to trim a little bit of the excess off up here at the top to kind of make sure that I have more of a, a, a flatter pattern for me to cut so nothing comes back on me. I take my blade and I run it up actually down here. This is considered a frameless door. What I'm doing now is I'm kind of tacking the film and tacking the film means it's going to basically stay in place so it doesn't move so when I cut the pattern I get a true pattern. What I'm going to do now is I'm running my knife all the way across the glass and that's considered a pattern for the window. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the pattern up just a little so it's off the gasket. I'm going to come over here and create what is called tension in the film in the industry. It's actually called a finger because it kind of comes up from the bottom and it kind of points up. The film is a flat surface that comes out of the box and it has to fit onto the glass which is normally a curved surface. These heat guns are going to do what is called a mold where it actually molds the film. It's almost shrink wrapping the film to the glass. And now you see it fits flat. We use these glass walls over here to lay our template on. And then what we do here is you see this edge rounds what I'm doing here with my knife is I'm going to round it to match this round. I come here at the bottom, I'm kind of different than most people. I'd like to round my edges down here so the window when it goes up and down it doesn't create an edge and actually peel. Uh, it's just a little industry trick. So I always like to round the corners and make sure everything is nice and, and smooth. That is how you cut a pattern for a car, a frameless car. Okay, we're here on the second phase of the installation process on this Mini Cooper. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to prep the window with a little soapy water. What I do here is take the razor blade like I discussed earlier and we do what is called a crisscrossing motion to the glass to kind of get any uh, debris or particles off the glass. Um, we also take what is called a scrub pad. This loosens anything that we already took off the glass. Now we take what are called rubber squeegees. It's called a yellow turbo. Start over here, run, run. These are called runs. What I do is I run it off the glass. Now what I'm going to do is come in here and kind of get any excess off paper towel the bottom if you want to zoom in here you can kind of see what was just removed from the glass this is the difference between a professional and a non-professional window film basically has a clear liner to the outside uh, it peels apart I just take my fingernail kind of peel it apart it's a clear liner this uh, opens up the glue that's on the film to be applied to the glass you try to limit your touching this part of the film because that's where you get debris and dust and things of that such in the film. Try to come behind it if you can. I don't mind holding it over here just so I don't drop the film and then I take this hand and kind of come in behind it. Now I'm going to come over here to the glass if you'll follow me over here. I'm holding the film. What we're going to do here is basically try to apply it with 
as much ease as we can. It's delicate, very, very delicate. You want to just kind of put it on there nice and soft. So you don't create cre creases or tension or anything in the film. What I do here is I try to lift the bottom gasket to try to tuck the film a little bit in below there so I can position the film exactly on the glass where I want it. Then I'm going to do a tacking uh, process, which is just tacking it to the glass. This is not a final preparation. This is just a way to get some of the moisture underneath, out, and then I'll use a final technique of getting the rest of the moisture out. But with doing a tacking process, it enables me to still move the film in the installation process. So I always do a real light tacking on the film. Get it right where I want it. Spray a little bit more water. And then come here with what is considered a yellow turbo. And this gets a little bit more water out. It's got a little bit more of an oomph to it. So it won't scratch the film, but it gets a lot of the water out. And you're just trying to get all the water you can out underneath the film. The sun's natural ability of drying the film, uh, the, all the excess moisture will go away. Now, if you really want to get as much out, this is called a Blue Max, and you bear down real hard and this is kind of the aggressive part of it. And uh, it will get all the water out. It's pretty much the, the tool of choice for most window tenders is a Blue Max. What we're doing here on the final phase of uh, the window tending installation is I take a paper towel and what I do is kind of dry up all the excess moisture around the edges and uh, just kind of make sure everything is uh, laying down where it should and that it's not moving. And then you wipe it up and make it look like you were never there and move on to the next piece of glass. The next phase of this is we're going to talk about good film versus bad film. And I'm going to actually show you some really good films. Window film is a product that uh, is applied to cars, houses, boats, uh, just about anything that you want to protect against the sun. Standard film is our basic installated uh, film for a car. Uh, it's been around for many years. Uh, it's a dyed construction. Uh, we want to upgrade you to our high performance series film. This is for a newer cars that want superior heat rejection. It is a metal construction. Uh, it does come with a lifetime warranty. Uh, lifetime warranty is very important in the window film industry because when you own your car, you ever have a problem, bring it back to us. Our manufacturers will pay us to redo it if you ever have a problem. If the metal construction is going to be a problem, uh, a lot of cars now uh, have cell phones, radios, navigation, smartphones, things like that. Window films are made in layers. Uh, our standard is a one ply. Our high performance is a two. And upgraded to a three ply with our carbon series. Uh, it does come with a lifetime warranty. Our lifetime warranty that includes fading, which is very important. This one is by far the best in the industry. Uh, it comes in different shades, uh, light, medium, dark. Uh, every car, uh, we're going to inform you uh, about what looks good on your car and what's still legal. Uh, we have a new film. Uh, it's been out for probably about a year. Uh, it's called Ultravision. It has a superior infrared and solar heat rejection. It's a unique, high-end, spectrally selective film. And what that means in our industry is that most of the cars today have large windshields. And those large windshields project a lot of heat. And with a superior infrared heat uh, being rejected from the car, it's very important. Not really going to see the tint. It's going to, you're going to feel what the tint's going to do for you. Uh, it's going to reject the heat, keep your car cooler. Um, just very, very, very awesome, awesome product. Uh, what I'd like to do is show you what we call in uh, this shop, in the industry, the wall of shame. Uh, what the wall of shame is, is, is cheap film. Uh, window film is polypropylene dyed, uh, like a pigment that goes over, like a spray paint, put together and applied to, to film. As you can see, 
This is old film that came off of cars that turned purple, wrinkled, uh, turned into dust, different colors. Um, as you can see, just real, real thin film. I don't know if you can come over here and zoom in, but you can see kind of the discoloration uh, of the film. This was on a back window of a car. And as you can see here, it was kind of smoke and then it turned into purple. I want to say thank you for visiting Sunstoppers. And my name is Mike Burke again, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.